Hey guys, what's good? It's Brittany and welcome back to my channel. So today for you all, I have a comparison video. So if you watched my luxury regret video, thank you so much. You all know that from that video, I was considering exchanging my Louis Vuitton card holder for the key pouch and I went ahead and did it. So if you want to see the unboxing for that, go ahead and check out my Instagram. So I recently have been obsessed with Instagram. I post little shop with me behind the scenes and then my actual feed is just very in my opinion aesthetically pleasing um, pictures of my son pictures of just me being a young fun single person <laughs> so if you want to see the unboxing and things like that go ahead and subscribe to my Instagram I will go ahead and have it linked above as well so without further ado here is the key pouch that I got and again in today's video I will be doing a comparison between the Louis Vuitton key pouch and an Amazon dupe so if you want to see more keep watching all right guys so let's go ahead and jump right in I think it goes without saying that if you're not subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe and if you like videos like this go ahead and give this video a like and hit the notification bell all right so I know we're not normally this close to each other but I thought that would be the best thing since I'm going to be doing a comparison of these two little small items so I want you guys to be able to see everything very clearly so again this is the original Louis Vuitton authentic key pouch purchased directly from Louis Vuitton and this is the Daisy Rose key pouch that I purchased on Amazon I will have a links to both of these items in the description box, both the Louis Vuitton one and the item from Amazon. So first I just wanted to start by comparing how these two physically look. So as you can see, they look very similar to each other. This, of course, is mimicking the Louis Vuitton Damier Aben print. What you may be able to notice right away is that the Daisy Rose one is much bigger. So if I just put them both corner to corner like this, you'll see that this one is more than a row or a column longer. And then it's also taller than the Louis Vuitton one. This is the Louis Vuitton. This is the Daisy Rose. And the Daisy Rose looks wider to me. That's how it is from the bottom. And I also wanted to show you a comparison of the actual zipper pulls. So as you can see, this one says LV on it and it's a little bit of a dueler gold. This is kind of a shinier, almost faker looking gold. Um, so that's a difference there. Now, as far as the actual print itself, I mean, they look similar, but uh, to the trained eye, you would definitely know that this is not the original Louis Vuitton print. Um, obviously, it, it doesn't have the Louis Vuitton letters on it, whereas the original one has the Louis Vuitton there. And then it also has it there on that side. Um, so again, this is a true dupe. It doesn't say Louis Vuitton. It's not pretending to be, although it does look pretty darn close. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and look at the inside. So first I want to unzip these and compare like how smooth each zipper is. So I'll do the Louis Vuitton one first. Okay. Not much thoughts there. That was pretty simple. <laughs> I feel like I'm like a food critic on the Food Network. I mean, they're pretty similar. Can we can we get a slow mo of the zips? Can we run that back? I don't know. What are y'all's thoughts? <laughs> I feel like they're pretty similar. Oh, oh, zipping it back. I have a little tr trouble, but. Oh, I'm having, okay, that zip back on the Daisy Rose one was rough. And it was very easy on the Louis Vuitton one. So at first glance, it seemed like they were even, but then zipping it back up, the Daisy Rose one definitely hit, hit a few snags. All right, so the movie recording stopped and I don't exactly know where it stopped because I basically finished the video and then I realized that the movie recording had stopped. So I believe we were discussing uh, the zip on both so the Louis Vuitton zip is definitely much smoother this was a little bit rougher but I mean it still zips so let's talk about what's in the inside of either pouch so in both the Daisy Rose and the Louis Vuitton you do have these key rings so as you can see they're pretty similar the Louis Vuitton one does have the LV logo engraved on it whereas the Daisy Rose one doesn't have anything um, if you were to put them 
just side by side. They're pretty much the same size. Um, the chain on the Daisy Rose one is just a tad bit longer, like one link or two longer. The golds are pretty similar. The LV one does look a little bit shinier. And then the way you open both of these is you lift up and then out and then you just snap it closed. And then same thing for the Louis Vuitton one, you lift up and out and snap it closed. It's really weird. I find the Louis Vuitton one in comparison to be a little more clunky than the Daisy Rose one. So I don't know, that's weird. Doesn't make much of a difference to me because I really honestly don't intend to use these class at all. Um, but they are an option if you want to keep your keys on here. So you can keep your keys on this chain, tuck the keys inside, zip it up, and then you know your keys don't mess with anything else in your bag. So I actually intend on using this for either a mini wallet if I'm downsizing or just to kind of carry like a little catch-all in my bag. And here again are the chains for comparison. Now looking inside of each one, the Louis Vuitton one is just a very dark brown and it has Louis Vuitton in red printed inside. The Daisy Rose one is a dark brown as well and in gold foil it has the Daisy Rose by Katie Roach imprinted inside. All right, so let's talk about everyone's favorite topic, price. <laughs> so the Louis Vuitton key pouch runs you about $205 before tax. The Daisy Rose one is about $15, $16 on Amazon. So obviously this one's about $200 more with tax. And for a pretty similar product, some people would definitely not understand the reason why someone would prefer Louis Vuitton. So which one do I suggest? Um, I actually suggest both. So the reason why I definitely say I think both are a good option is because since most people use this either to carry cards or for like knickknacks, when you think about it, a $200 item to carry a dollar bobby pin or a dollar hair tie, when you think about it like that, I could definitely understand why someone would opt for the $15 version. Um, if you must, of the same pouch. So I think they're both great options. Obviously with the Louis Vuitton, you're getting the unmatched quality, you're getting just the authentic item, the original item, and this is gonna last you probably forever, just depending on how often you use it and how well you take care of it. Now me personally, my favorite of the two is the Louis Vuitton pouch. So I intend on using this like every single day. I definitely want to use this as a little miniature wallet for whenever I'm downsizing or using a mini bag. And then when I'm not, I definitely think I do want to keep this to hold little knickknacks like hair ties, lip gloss, bobby pins, things like that. Um, so this is my personal choice. I just like having the real deal. I, I think it's gonna last again forever. And I really can't say that about the Daisy Rose, so. They're both still very good items. I think either one is a great option just depending on your budget and just what will work best for your lifestyle. Again, I'll have both items linked below. And if you all have any specific questions about either item, definitely let me know in the comments below. Let me know which item you would go with. Now, if you have made it this far in the video, thank you so much, you're a real one. I really appreciate you watching my video the whole way through. And as a token of my appreciation, you all will have first dibs on my secret giveaway. So I've been on YouTube now for about five months and we are quickly approaching 500 subscribers. So in honor of that, I will be doing a 500 subscriber giveaway. So what that means is whenever I actually hit 500 subscribers, I will be announcing the winner. So once I hit 500 subscribers, the giveaway will be closed. I might let it go to like 510 subscribers just so that the last few people can get in. But again, once I hit 500-ish, the giveaway will be closed. And I'll announce the winner. This giveaway is international. So if you are not US based, still feel free to enter because I can still purchase the, the gift card to work in your country. So I will have all of the details in the description box below, but just so that you can hear it from 
me. So the giveaway prize will be a $50 Amazon gift card. In order to enter the giveaway, you have to do a few things. So of course you need to be subscribed to my channel. You need to like this video and in the comments below post that you want to be entered into my giveaway. So you can say however you want to say it. Just let me know you want to be in the giveaway. Now you'll also need to follow me on Instagram. So I'll go ahead and again post my Instagram handle and all the information in the description box below. Now once you are on my Instagram there is a very specific picture that you will need to like and comment under and that is the picture that has me laying down with all my Louis Vuitton bags. <laughs> I'll post a picture on the screen of what that post looks like and then again I'll also describe it in the description box below. So on that post if you will go ahead and like that and in the comments on that picture you have the option of either tagging a friend or just letting me know again that you want to be entered into the giveaway and that will solidify your entry. So again you need to like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment below that you want to be entered into the giveaway and then follow me on Instagram, like my picture that has my Louis Vuitton collection, and then in the comments, let me know again that you want to be entered or tag a friend. You have your choice there. It's been a fun road to 500 with you all, and I sincerely hope you enjoy the content on my channel. If you do, feel free to share this video, like it, comment, do whatever. I'll see you guys in my next video, and remember to be good to yourself. Bye, guys.